The impact of Tasmania's bushfire emergency is becoming clearer as more of the state's wilderness world heritage area is reopened to the public. Summer bushfires burnt more than 20,000 hectares of wilderness across Tasmania. Conservationists say the damage to world-recognised rainforest species is incomprehensible and have questioned the priorities of fire authorities. The charred remains of once pristine Tarkine wilderness near Tema. It's one of many pockets burnt out in Tasmania's Wilderness World Heritage Area. Some were home to rare pencil and king billy pines and cushion plants. We're talking about rainforests that have evolved over millions of years. Uh, these areas are, are significant globally. Uh, they've been recognised as being significant and and they don't just appear. The reality is uh, these kind of fire sensitive vegetations do not recover. Fire has burnt more than 100,000 hectares across the state. About one fifth of the damage is in the Wilderness World Heritage Area. Every opportunity we had to deal with those high World Heritage Areas we certainly put the resources in place. Conservationists argued that's not the case and that firefighters were told to protect property over rare vegetation. Property can be insured, property can be rebuilt, but, but millions of years of rainforest evolution doesn't get rebuilt. Conservationists are worried the state government's draft management plan for the wilderness area is much weaker on firefighting priorities than the previous plan. It said that you needed to prioritise life, uh, then uh, fire sensitive natural values uh, and then uh, infrastructure. This has been totally uh, jettisoned from the proposed draft plan. We're pretty comfortable that the, the priorities that we dealt with were very successful and uh, will continue to operate as we have. It's not true for anyone to suggest that we weren't well prepared or we didn't put adequate resources into protecting the World Heritage Area. Tasmania's Parks and Wildlife Service will send specialist teams into bushfire affected areas to document the damage. Their assessments will be used to guide rehabilitation programs in the area. Celise Gibson, ABC News.